It's the 2016 Varsity Brands School Spirit Awards. Here's your host, Varsity Brands Executive Vice President, Bill Seeley. The Varsity Brands School Spirit Awards were created to include the key drivers of spirit throughout the school, from students to school groups to principals. These awards were made up of three divisions, sport, spirit, and achievement. Varsity Brands will be awarding $25,000 across 16 categories, which includes the prestigious Principal of Principal Award. The principal as the guiding force and role model must exhibit the positive principles that will be reflected in their student body. This includes academics as well as athletics, honoring school traditions, ushering in innovation while creating an atmosphere where students can learn, thrive, and have fun. Throughout our presentation, we'll be honoring the four finalists in this category. Those finalists are here with us live in the studio at the Walt Disney World Resort so that we can get to know them and find out what inspired their nominations. Let's get started by meeting our first principal of principal finalist, Brian Bosworth from Kittatinny Regional High School in Newton, New Jersey. Principal Brian Bosworth demonstrates an undying commitment to both academics and athletics at Kittatinny Regional High School. This is his first year as principal, though he spent over 10 years teaching English at the school. Students and staff describe their principal as a breath of fresh air. He has made many positive changes, including updates to the school's social media guidelines and creating the school's first student section. He leads students and staff by example, encouraging enthusiasm and innovation at every turn. One student said it best. Everything about Kittatinny has dramatically changed for the better since Mr. Bosworth became the principal. Brian, congratulations. Principal of Kittatinny High School in uh, Newton, New Jersey. Great job. First year. First year. First yeah. year, and here you are, a finalist. So uh, as you go into your first year of principal, there's a lot to learn, a lot to uh, figure out around the school. How did you prioritize things going into the year? It, it was a challenge. I think the biggest thing, uh, the easiest thing for me was I had been in the school for a while. Um, I taught English there and coached there, so having the opportunity to transition um, into administration was a little bit easier, but um, we have a great administrative team. You know, our students and staff are fantastic at the school. So uh, there have been some challenges, but it's it's been a great it's been a great ride so far. Well, it looks like you overcame those challenges. Were you the cool teacher? No, no, not not necessarily. Yeah. Just. Uh, you know, I always expected a lot out of my students um, and, and players alike when I coach. So I always feel that, you know, it's important to set the expectations high. And that's what we've tried to do, um, you know, as we've made some changes this year. Well, that's fantastic. Looks like the students have responded well and uh, you guys have things uh, going on there at your high school. Yeah, it, it, this, our students are great. One of the things that we started doing earlier on this year um, in the fall was uh, meeting with our students and getting feedback to see what they really wanted to prioritize. And once we did that, we were able to come up with a plan. Um, and uh, so, so the students have been great. So year one, biggest, biggest accomplishment? I think the biggest thing has been setting a tone with the students. We've really been stressing leadership in our building, um, and we started a leadership council, and many of the initiatives that we've put for forth this year, um, from our social media change uh, to implementing um, you know, different school spirit days, that's all come from the students. So being able to not only teach them about leadership, but then to see them take that to a whole new level by putting in some of these uh, new impacts this year that we've had at the school has been so great. They have skin in the game. They do. Well, they do. Congratulations. Great job. We're, thank we're you. happy to have you here. Thank you very much. It's great being here. And thank you so much to Varsity Brands. It's been an unbelievable, uh, unbelievable event. Thank you, Brian. Now let's meet our second principal of principal finalist, John Spolsky, from Fort Walton Beach High School right here in Florida. Principal John Spolsky ensures that every student at Fort Walton Beach High School has the opportunity to engage in school activities through participation, social media, pep rallies, athletics, clubs, and events. He makes school spirit a priority and will go to great lengths to keep the students excited and engaged. Principal Spolsky's efforts have earned Fort Walton Beach High School honors from the Florida Department of Education, who consistently give the school an a rating. Professional counselor, Dr. Linda Bory Dugan, explains, Principal Spolsky is a principal of great principles, but most of all, 
He is an incredible leader that creates a school spirit that leaves a positive imprint in every student's school experience. John, congratulations on being nominated for the finalist today. I, I, I'm so excited. It's electric. Yeah, well, congratulations. You've done an incredible job at Fort Walton Beach High School here in Florida. And, um, you know, I love the dance move that you had up there. You see, you know. I had, I had to get a rub down afterwards. Too. Yeah, I understand. Consistently uh, recognized by the Department of Education for Florida for excellence. How do you continue to maintain that level of, of excellency? Well, I'm blessed. You know, I come into a school and there's, there's this infrastructure set up where I have great people around us. The students are real serious about learning. Um, and, and I just kind of lead that ship in the right direction. We offer programs for, for the high kids. We have programs for the, for the kids that are in the middle. And then also for some of those kids that need some remediation. Uh, but, but the goal is at the end of the 90 days, a semester, and the end of the 180 days, what we try to do is make sure they're, they're showing progress. So what, what would you recommend for a new principal coming in? What are, what are some, some keys to success? Well, I, I think it's imperative that everyone is connected with a relationship. You know, one of our signs in our gym says uh, family, uh, integrity, character. It has all those important things that all of our schools across the state and across the nation have. But truly, in order to feel like you're part of a family, you have to have those connections. So how do you, how do you make those connections? Because a lot of people will put those words up on the walls, but to get the student body to buy into those words and to make it part of their DNA, that seems to be what you did at Fort Walton Beach. Well, it, it, it really is a, it's not just a single man thing. Everyone who works there comes every day, uh, make sure that our teachers are, are connected with the kids. Uh, we do it through extracurricular, co-curricular activities. A lot of service projects, our leadership is an amazing program, uh, not only for our school, but also in our community. Um, I, I really truly believe that schools across this nation, public schools, are really important. They don't just change the lives of, of a family, they change an entire family tree. And I, I believe it's the people that get connected not only just here, but also at the heart with some of these kids that really really make us what we are. Well, thanks for everything you do for the lives of young people. Uh, you've made a huge impact at your school. Thanks again. Thank you, Bill. I'm, I'm honored. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's meet our third Principal of Principal finalist, Lisa Phillips, from Cass Technical High School in Detroit, Michigan. Principal Lisa Phillips has been at the helm of Cass Technical High School in Detroit, Michigan since 2010. She successfully created and expanded several invaluable educational programs at the school. These programs include the STEM Education Project, the University of Michigan Doctors of Tomorrow program, the Cass Tech Greenhouse, and the Wayne County Dual Enrollment Program, which allows students to earn college credit during their high school tenure. Assistant Principal Lori Singleton explains, Principal Phillips has a track record of improving every educational arena she embarks upon. She is the true embodiment of an exceptional principal. Lisa, so great to be here with you. Congratulations on being a finalist at the uh, competition today. So you've created all of these incredible programs for your young people inside of your school at Cass Technical. What is your favorite one? Well, there are two, if that's okay. Uh, one of my favorite is our partnership with the University of Michigan's Medical School. Ninth graders have an opportunity to spend two years at the medical school training with senior medical students. And this is an inroads into medical school for students and it encourages them early. If you want to be a doctor, you're going to become a doctor. And my second is the dual enrollment program. We start with ninth graders, everything that we do at CAS. So the ninth graders attend college, take college classes every Saturday for four years, and they graduate with an associate's degree. Therefore, when they begin college, they start as a junior. So I'm real proud of both of those programs because at CT, we make dreams come true. You do make dreams come true. Yes. We were talking earlier about yes. being here at Disney and, yes. and the oh. feelings and the dreams uh, that you had being around uh, the property and going to the parks. The property is awesome. It makes me feel younger. I want to be a kid again. <laughs> you are young. <laughs> I, I'll take that. I'll take that. But when we stepped onto the bus and started to look at the cartoons and the different things that were going on here, I just felt good, like a lot of stress had been lifted. So I am happy to be here at Disney. And that's the environment that you try to create inside of your school. I do it every day. My job, at the end of the day, is to make sure that I really created or made a difference in the life of a student. Well, and for that, that's all I want to do is to be a giver. You're doing it, and Thank congratulations. You. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you. 
and one finalist left in that category. Let's meet him now. Travis Warnick from Shadow Ridge High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. Principal Travis Warnick believes that students who enjoy going to school will perform better both inside and outside the classroom. Under his leadership, Shadow Ridge High School has transformed from an institution lacking in morale and involvement to a place where students are eager to learn and participate. This principal goes to great lengths to keep school engaging and fun, including his participation in a legendary senior prank and starring in the school production of Young Frankenstein. Assistant Principal Missy Ship says Principal Warnick has successfully steered Shadow Ridge to be extremely exciting for the student body. He goes above and beyond to make Shadow Ridge a better place for students. Travis, congratulations on your nomination for a uh, finalist today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Shadow Ridge High School out of Las Vegas. Now, I needed a principal like you when I was in high school because my senior prank was an epic fail. Oh. So tell, tell me about your senior prank that you participated in. Well, uh, we actually made a petting zoo inside the building. <laughs> and we got there at midnight and set it up. So whenever, And the seniors did it. I just unlocked the door. <laughs> okay, great. So you didn't walk a llama in or... No, they did. They had a llama, sheep, pigs, chickens. It was pretty intense. <laughs> but you had buy-in immediately from your student body, yeah, I'm sure, after that. Yeah. We left. actually left it there the whole day so they could mess around and play and pet the pigs. And That's fantastic. Fun. So tell me about the play you were in. Uh, I was Frankenstein and Young Frankenstein. I had eight-inch platform shoes and I had to learn how to perform a tap dance. I am not a dancer. I am not a singer. So I was terrified, but I have great empathy for those kids that succeed in that world. So give me a little bit of insight in your philosophy for uh, running your school. Every kid needs a voice. Somewhere, someplace, they need to find a place they're successful. Uh, it could be AP Calculus, it could be theater, it could be football. But everybody needs a place to shine, and my goal is to give them that stage to shine on. Well, the students at Shadow Ridge are lucky to have you. Thanks again for being here, and congratulations. Thank you. You've already met all four now, but as a reminder, here are our four finalists for the Principal of Principal Award. This individual truly embodies all of the values that the Principal of Principal Award stands for. Congratulations to John Spolsky, Fort Walton Beach, Florida High School. John, John, congratulations. Thank you, Bill. I am just, uh, I'm, I'm beside myself. I, first of all, I want to say thank you to Varsity Brands. Um, just been a tremendous ride down here in Orlando being recognized. But I also have to say, um, being with the other three principals, Travis, uh, Brian, Lisa, uh, they truly go out there and, and they do magic. Um, I'm, just, I'm just proud to represent them and be an ambassador for this great award. Well, what does this mean for your school, for Fort Walton Beach High School? Well, yeah, my Vikings are going crazy. I want to <laughs> shout out to my Vikes. Hey, uh, Dr. Dugan, everyone there, my teachers, everyone that um, makes our spirit just go on and on throughout the community. And I will tell you that, um, Bill, our, our other schools, our other high schools come over and they watch us participate in our extra and our co-curricular sports and they are as supportive with us win or lose the game everyone knows our Vikings rock and roll and a lot of it I have to say um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little plug to varsity here <laughs> I, I am because when we came down here Jeff took us in and he talked to us about fuel he talked to us about up in the game he talked to us about um, celebrating successes and, you know, when you look and you come into Fort Walton Beach High School, the first thing you see out there is every student is known and valued. That's on the front of the, front of the school. And our kids love playing in sports. Our kids love being in drama and theater. Our kids love being cheerleaders. Um, and a lot of that is because of business partners like Varsity. So I, I'm just I'm hoping that all these other young principals out there really make those connections on how those extracurricular activities, getting them involved in school, does directly affect student achievement. Well, John, you've done an incredible job of building student engagement inside of Fort Walton Beach High School, and this is well-deserved. Congratulations. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. I'm fired up. <laughs> Good for you. <clears throat> National School Spirit Day on September 16, 2016, kicks off the search for the very best of America's high schools and will reward schools, school groups, and individuals that go the extra mile to build school pride student engagement, and community spirit. 
prize money will be awarded to each category winner with the grand prize of a $25,000 grant going to America's most spirited high school. Visit varsitybrands.com to find out how your school can participate. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next year.